Hi, I'm Jason. So I am going to take you through the resuscitative hysterotomy module. We want to make sure we've clarified the indications and that is primarily an arrested woman who we believe to be 20 weeks gestation or more importantly has a palpable fundus at the level of the umbilicus or higher. We'll start by grabbing our hysterotomy pack which lives in the bottom drawer of the paediatric trolley. Inside your pack you've got everything plus more that you will need to perform the procedure. All you need is a scalpel, a pair of scissors, you've got clamps, retractor, packs, and various forceps, but to keep it simple, if we're performing this as an ED clinician, you can perform this with just a scalpel. So you wanna make sure you've identified the umbilicus, and you want to start by making a midline incision from umbilicus down to pubic symphysis through the skin. So once you've gone through skin next layer is through the rectus sheath again in the same orientation and then next layer through the peritoneum and then you'll come down to uterus at this point if you have got a pair of scissors this is where you want to be careful you don't want to cut the baby as you're cutting the uterus so you can again in size with a scalpel, just taking care. If you've got an assistant, you can get an assistant with hands to hold the layers apart for you. That's good, that's improved my visibility. And then you can cut through the placenta with a pair of scissors. And at this point, you want to get your hand in there. And ideally you want to identify the head. And as with any procedure, got big hands and you're finding you're struggling to get in either you can get someone to use a retractor to hold things so ideally you don't want to pull baby out by just the presenting part and potentially cause damage Found placenta <laughs> so if you're struggling you can always extend your incision all right try and get hand in beneath Ideally, you want to get behind. Normally, baby would come out in placenta to follow. Apply your clamps and cut the cord, and then to neonatologist. So at this point, if you do get rosk, you're likely to have bleeding once blood flow returns to the uterus. So if you've got obstetrics and gynaecology support by then, they can close the wound. Otherwise, some stitches to temporise that and just to hold the uterus back mm. together because that could be a source of bleeding. If you Oxytocin, yes. oxytocin, like you would in any yes. other yeah. PPA. Resuscitative hysterotomy. So make a midline incision from the umbilicus to the symphysis pubis. Incise the rectus sheath. Incise the peritoneum down to the uterus. Open the uterus, preferably with scissors. Cut through the placenta if it's anterior. Put your hand in behind the baby and scoop it out. Clamp and cut the cord. Close the uterus with a continuous running stitch. Thank you.